Hello guys! Hepsi Tech here for a new video. So today I'm gonna show you, as you can see, I've already have here a package. All messed up, yes, because I've already opened it. And let me just tell what is this. This is a drone, okay? But this is a toy, okay? It's not a professional drone. Just some drone that you can buy it. Uh, it's cheap. I, I think it's under 100 dollars but i will leave the link in the description if you want to check out all the specs what it can do i'm not gonna detail all the specs you can see that on the link in the description what i'm gonna do now is just tell you how to connect it i still haven't connected as you can see the what you see in the first place is that it's a really small uh, drone i've already tested the uh, <coughs> a drone of this brand but it was a uh, waterproof it was really great I've spent some time with it, it's really, uh, it was fun, I mean, I think it's got, oh yeah, it's here. This was my uh, water, uh, water um, drone that I've tested and really small, really light and it's uh, really fun to, to use, okay? It's got already a camera here, as you can see, I don't know the quality of it, we're gonna try it out. And you've got the um, remote control and you receive to the protections and um, the things to replace in your drone. One of the things that you must know is that uh, it opens like this. It's really easy. Just have to open like this. Okay. The battery is under here. It's too easy to remove and replace. You just have to press here this button and then okay you see this is a 900 milliamperes uh, battery i think it will fire for more or less 10 minutes i didn't try it just i just think so so let's put it out again but to use this drone you have to have at least 14 years old okay that's what they say in the box so you receive two uh, manual as you can see age of 14 <laughs> so you got uh, all menu in um, English if you want to read and the one of the things that I have to speak about is the quality of the product the plastics are you know they feel cheap I mean you are buying let me just compare for example with my DJI drone and um, yeah you can see the size of one and the size of the other as you can see uh, the size is smaller but uh, the quality of the product is not the same okay this is a premium product this is a budget project. If you want to do, if, you, if for, it's the first time you are going to buy a drone, I don't know, maybe this will be a good uh, option just to play with it and at least have some uh, accessibility when you are using a drone, okay? It's a really great uh, thing to do. Buy first a cheap one, then go to the professional. Because usually if you fly this type of drones easily, <laughs> You will not have any problems flying a pro drone. Why? Because it's got stabilization, got a lot of things. So it will be really hard for you to mess it up. So now let's turn on. I'm going to show you. This is just press here and it's turn it on. As you can see, now one of the things that I have to turn on, turn on is the my remote control. And the problem is that it's got batteries and I didn't bring the battery. So I had to replace it. But I'm gonna be I'm gonna be right back okay wait a second okay guys so I told you that I would put some batteries on my remote control but I didn't do it only that I had to read some uh, some manual because there was some confusion here uh, working with the drone and the app I mean you can connect it to the remote and you can connect to an app that will connect to the your Android or iPhone okay both of the systems will work but let me explain how this works so the first time you connect you turn on the remote control you press here okay and now that is blinking is waiting for um, for you to do the stabilization mode which is, what this means is that you need to rotate for example this one in the clock size okay and rotate it Okay, it's done. Now we're gonna rotate uh, in this position, in this position, so that we can do. Uh, okay. Okay. Now, if you want to start your um, drone inside, you you have here a GPS on and GPS off. Okay. So if I press GPS off, you can turn it on 
in house. Let's turn it on. As you can see, I've just turned the the motors, and it's gonna work. But remember, we are with the GPS off. If you turn it on, it will not work. So let me turn it off. And now let's connect the app that I'm gonna show you how you connect the app. Let me just turn off this. So first of all, you have to download the app from the QR code that you receive here, because if you download from the uh, Google apps, the software will be uh, outdated. So download, use the QR code to download it. You will download it after that on the, um, the drone, it will give you a Wi-Fi connection. Okay, this is five gigahertz connect, five gigahertz connection. It's blinking. Okay, now you've got here a JJRS RC. The connection I'm connecting. It's connected. Now we're gonna go to the app. That is this one. And uh, you're gonna see now that it's all in uh, in uh, it's all in uh, Chinese, but it's easy. You go to ear here and here and change to English. Yes, I've already speak <laughs> Chinese. No, just kidding. This was a step by step that I tried several times <laughs> until I reached the English version. So now we go to the device. As you can see, this is a really great app. Why? Because you've got a lot of drones. You can define different drones here. But what I'm gonna do now is select our drone. It's this one. Okay, and I'm gonna try connect. Let's see. Okay, so as you can see, this is the image you are getting from the drone. I'm gonna show you my face. You see, this is the drone. As you can see, it's uh, the. But let me just record some video so that you can see the image. So this is the image you get when you are recording with the drone. I'm gonna try it out outside because there's a lot of lights and it's better so that you can try. Okay, now that we've recorded this and I've explained you this, one of the things that you must know is that this remote control has uh, your, um, can have your mobile phone here. But uh, remember that this uh, is not a really great grape. It doesn't grape well the mobile phone. So what I'm gonna do outside is uh, trying to make some image, see how the drone flies. So let's check it out and see how it works. Okay guys, as you can see, I've already turned on my remote control. I've got my drone, it's blinking. So we have to do the, the synchronize. So this, let me just make it okay. It's okay, now let me do like this. Okay, it's done. And for that place. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it, take off and just gonna do some uh, fly with it, see how it works. And after that, I will pick on, on my hand and uh, do a record using my mobile phone because there is some issues putting my mobile phone in your science. This will fall off, can fall down from the, um, from the remote control science. This is not really, really great. So anyhow, the GPS is on. Let's try out and see how it works. Okay, so let's try, put it here and see how it works. Okay. Okay, it's really easy to, to work with it. Nothing special. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. The stabilization of the this drone is not easy, okay? So because there's no wind and uh, and is 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 okay. So it's not stabilizing. It's not stabilizing on the same position, and that makes you uh, fail when you are fine with it. It's not uh, almost. There is no wind, and it's not really really easy to. I mean, we've got to do some practice, but. I mean, anyhow, I didn't find any difficulty flying it. I just don't want to mess it out and damage the drone, okay? Okay, now this is great. Now this is if you want to maintain your position of the lift top. Now we can try it. You see it?
Oops. No, there's some problem with the. Did I just mess it up? Oh boy. Something is not okay. Okay, now I see it. Okay, so now I've found it. It's really easy to manu <laughs> to fly it. Not hard. Okay. I'm gonna take it <laughs> off again. And it's resistance. Okay, as you can see. Oh. Why? Why did you fail now? Why did you fail? Okay, let's try again. Let me just see if it's open. We've already we already have some some damage on it, but we can change the the Alice. We can change it. Let's try it out. Okay. Yeah, it's easy. I mean, really easy to navigate. You see. There we go. Ooh, really nice. I mean, it's not easy. It's not difficult to, to fly with. So we already managed to fly the drone. It's easy, really easy. I was not uh, understanding how it works, but now I, I, I see it. So one of the things that you're gonna try now is the camera and see how the, the, the video display works. If you want to buy, for example, a drone of under $100, I mean, this is awesome. You can try it, you can damage, but you will not suffer a big loss, you know? So this is a, a great starting point. This is a toy, but a toy that already uh, works like charm, if you want to try it out. Uh, I was seeing if she has sensors, but no, there's no sensors on it. So. If you go to the um, to the wall, there will be no sensors and it will crash into the wall. So one of the things, uh, let's try the camera and check it out. I was going to connect my mobile phone to, to record the camera, but even so, I, I tried almost for half an hour and I don't know why it's missing. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. One of the things that I've noticed about this drone is that when you download the app, okay, uh, the app doesn't came updated, so even if you try to update it through the Play Store, you can. So you have to read the QR code to download the update uh, app. This is one of the things that I didn't like it, was a lot of, a lot of difficulties to connect to the camera. And that's why I was not able to connect it and show it how the camera works outside. You've seen inside, uh, how it works inside, but... Sorry, I tried a lot, I can't. If somebody has this drone, please advise me. How did you connect your camera? Because I just didn't try with the iOS. I only tried with the Android device. Maybe this is a problem with the software issues. I don't know, but so guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, bye-bye and see you soon.